Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. Guillaume Waro is a player known for having no pace but he has really good statistics when he played for young boys. Like I said, very bad pace but really really good shooting stats. Good physical, stamina is a bit low and then all the good traits, finesse shot, outside of foot shot, all very very good. I linked them up with Jean-Pierre Enzam who, who is now the king of young boys and of course the king of my team. This is the team that I built around them. Let's get into Division Rivals. My first opponent is using this team. He's using at least one center back, so that's pretty good. And he's using Kenny Doglish, a guy that always destroys me. And this guy was just a lot better than me. And I was defending badly, and that is not a great combination. So 1-0 after 2 minutes, not a great start. He just keeps on coming, because I really, really can't stop him. And then when uh, your defense does stuff like this, I don't know even where to start. We uh, try to come back. Waro gives the ball to Enzam. Gives the ball to Sar, who I subbed on. There's a, there's a big man in front of goal who gives you the ball to, uh, to my CDM, who makes a pretty good volley, so it's 2-1. You think still everything to play for, uh, but then everything goes wrong. Mbappé... And then Doglish just does whatever he wants and that's 3-1. So he's uh, pretty much unstoppable for me because I'm really defending poorly. Mason Mount makes it 4-1. The goals keep on coming. We go on the counter attack. Biglia who I subbed on. Same with Sar. Biglia waits, waits, waits. Cuts back. Gives the ball to Sar. Gives the ball to Waro. Can't finish but that's a good shot. So uh, I was happy with that. Clichy puts the ball in. On the head of Jean-Pierre and Zam and it's 4-2. So uh, we at least scored two goals. Not done yet in the first half and Mbappé makes an easy goal. I don't think Courtois will save a single ball in this game. We go on the counter-attack. Clichy finds Enzam. And this is a rare miss for Enzam. Normally he hits those. We keep on attacking Enzam to Biglia, to Enzam, to Sar. That's a goal but it's also offside. It's still a good sign that we actually uh, create something. Waro gets fouled by Reese James and that's a penalty. It's not a hard foul but it's still a penalty. I'm not going to take the penalty with Kyle Clichy when you have a guy on your team with 99 penalties. So Waro gets it. A lot of strength on it. And then great shot. 5-3. Maybe there's a comeback. We go on the counter-attack. Roro with a perfect pass to Jean-Pierre Enzam. Who outruns Kurzawa. And then chips the ball in perfectly. 5-4. Is the comeback on? No it isn't. Because uh, we end up losing the game 5-4. But we actually scored 4 goals. So that's not too bad. Roro was pretty good. He's just He just doesn't have any pace. But he was really really good with a goal and assist. And as you can see, it was a pretty even game, so, so nothing too bad. But we're going to need an upgrade, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say goodbye to Gal Clichy and upgrade him with Robert Pires. Let's get into the second game. The final opponent is using this team. Again, Mondi as a center back. Rest of his team looking pretty damn good. Game starts off like all my games start off. with conceding a goal. And that's again not a save from Courtois. But this game he's actually going to save a ball. Carbon copy of his first goal. But this time Courtois is there. So no goal. Pires is just quicker than Mondi. Who uh, defends it really really weird. Puts it in. And then Jean-Pierre Enzam is there. And he makes it 1-1. He's the only player I can consistently score headers with. Sar gets the ball really, really fast. We cut back inside because no one in front of goal. And then Teo Hernandez takes him out and it's again a penalty. And if you saw the first game, it would be weird if you're watching this video and you didn't see the first game. But we're going to take a penalty with Waro. 99 penalties again, so he's definitely going to make it. There's, there's no reason to even watch. He's going to make it. And he does. And if you score a goal like this, you can celebrate like Ronaldo. Even though it wasn't a banger, still celebrate like, like you are Ronaldo. My opponent is trying to get the equalizer. Carrasco, great dribble. But uh, Puyol is there as a lost line of defense. Hanin gets the ball. 
I see Robert Pires making a run. He's all by himself and he has the pace to do it. Gives the ball to Aro. Gives the ball back to Pires. Great pass and then great finish from Robert Pires. You see, I changed one player and we win a game. So uh, I'm a brilliant coach, if I say so myself. We end up winning game 1-3. Waro again a goal and an assist. He's a deadly partner for Enzam. Enzam has the pace and the strength. And Waro has the, the strength and the finishing. So uh, they're really, really good partners. As you can see, pretty even game. But I, for once, uh, shot all my shots on target. So yes, if you wanted to use Raro in a, like, a past and present Young Boys Bern team, I would definitely recommend him. Put him on top with Jean-Pierre and Zam. Have a lot of fun with him. Just don't try to run him into space because even with a Hunter card, he doesn't have enough pace to do that. But that's going to be all for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.